really know how to say this. Um, it's nothing about you, but it was kind of like a little weird for me. Because I'm not well. No, it's, it's nothing personal. It's just that I haven't been with anyone like this in a very long time. And, and I, well, I have to admit to you that it did kind of feel a bit like cheating. You know, because Will and I aren't technically divorced yet. And you want to pump the brakes until you are. I get it. It's, it's totally up to you. I said that she was lying because, because I was so ashamed of what I did. I didn't, I didn't want you to know that about me. I didn't want you to know that I did something so awful. Lonnie shot and killed Stefan. And then she was asking for his heart. There is no wonder you lost it. And in the end, you did give Julie Stefan's heart. It was an incredible thing to do. It's just the right thing to do. I just wish I hadn't made an enemy out of Lonnie. That doesn't matter anymore. She's getting ready to leave town. Are you sure? I just saw her. Her suitcase was packed and ready to go. Gabby tried to destroy her life. She blamed me for Stefan's death. That wasn't your fault. Yeah, well, Gabby decided to be my judge and jury. I tried to persuade her to let Julie have Stefan's heart. She made me get down on my knees and beg her. Otherwise, she would just let Julie die. Okay. That must have been horrible. But you gotta admit, that was a pretty crazy situation. JJ, no, she didn't stop there. She couldn't stand that Eli and I were happy, about to be married. So she decided, since I took Stefan away from her, she would take Eli away from me. You dumped him. I, well, I was there. I mean, whole, whole town was, was there. Yeah, because she made me do it. Okay, it was the hardest thing that I ever had to do. It was hard enough that I had to let him go and to, and to do it so brutally in front of everyone. Yeah, well, okay. Wait a minute, how, how, could, how could she make you do that? Well, I guess your relationship is on shaky ground if you're so easily threatened by me. Brady and I are just friends. Yeah, because I caught the two of you making out on more than one occasion. You are just pathetic the way you throw yourself at him. Oh, I'm pathetic? You're the one who had to wear a mask of my face just to get Brady in bed with you. you at least I didn't have to don a disguise when I threw myself at him. You have no idea what you're talking about. Brady is a man, and I as noticed. such has his needs. And I'm sure when he is desperate, you meet all his physical